So, you see, there are some objects on, above and below which is piece of land. Now, take a look in and around. You can see many natural and man-made things on the Earth's surface. Some of these things are on the surface. For example, look at these parcels of land. Also, look at these roads, houses and rivers too. Some are below the surface of the earth. For example, the pipelines drainage or water are below the surface of the earth. Similarly, there are a few things that are above the surface of the earth. For example, the tower on the hill. Aren't they above the surface of the earth? Now, how do you think the location and area for the construction of these objects was decided? Let us again come back to Vijay's field and the objects in and around his field. First, Determine the area or boundary of the location of the tower, the road and drainage. Then, represent the area of each on a map. We can now see the location of the field in relation to the tower, the road and the drainage in the map. Thus, the map represents what is where. You can now use this map to measure the distance between the objects. This activity of determining the relative positions of different objects on the surface of the earth by measuring horizontal distances between them is called surveying.